I'm Trina, and I am coming to you from Mole National Park in northern Ghana. This is something a little bit new for some of you. It is a video podcast, and the reason I am doing it from here is just because I was going to be in Mole. I wanted to start the podcast, and I thought this was a great place to do it. I know some people aren't getting the video on this, so you're just going to have to trust me. This place is gorgeous. It is thousands of acres of uh, totally protected and pretty much untouched uh, nature. And uh, I've seen elephants up close today. They actually came up near the hotel um, this morning, like right after breakfast. And uh, I sat and videoed them, like a trio of them while they were, were eating. And then I just saw some uh, bushback antelope and they were just like over there. And when I tried to get a little closer, they did uh, scoot away. But uh, this is just an amazing place. And so I had to do my podcast from here. So this is the first podcast be, uh, because while I'm here, it's going to take me a few weeks to pull all the footage together. I'm hopefully going to a hippo sanctuary tomorrow after this, and that's even more footage and destination videos for as much as I absolutely love getting the footage. I love traveling and, and filming things. Uh, it takes a long time to put together. So since there's such a big gap between destination videos, then uh, that's why I want to do these podcasts. To let you know a little bit about myself, I have been traveling uh, for a long time. My first trip to Ghana, which I consider my first real solo trip, was 20 years ago, and I was, even started traveling a little bit before that. In 2017, uh, my husband and I set out and we sold everything, we cashed out all our savings, and we started traveling the world. The slight urgency on it was simple that he was losing his vision, and we wanted him to be able to see as much of the world as he still could. Okay, so that was the plan. Unfortunately, he passed away last year. Although you got to admit, you know, last five years of your life traveling the world, not so bad. And most of the places we've been have been in Southeast Asia and Africa. I have personally been to, I think I counted it up and it was like 13 African countries over the span of my travels. So I have all this accumulated knowledge and I have plenty of advice and I have stories. And so I want to share them all. This is going to be a channel that's going to be, it's going to be about travel topics, but it's also, there's going to be some stories and some fun stuff thrown in because how do you learn but by experience and by weird things happening. So for now, I'm in Ghana. I'm going to be finishing the northern part of Ghana, then going back down south and working my way up slowly by bus and, and covering everything that a, any tourist might want to cover. And then uh, after I get all that stuff edited, then I'll move on to the neighboring countries of Benin and Togo and Cote d'Ivoire, and I'll make videos on those. And then I'm going to be traveling out uh, further into Africa, into the eastern and southern region. Now, the channel that uh, my husband and I had was Team Hazard Rides Again. It is now This Gal Travels. And uh, there's a lot of stuff in there from our West Africa travels in Senegal and the Gambia. And previously, uh, we had done Mauritania and Morocco. And that stuff is on the blog. The information is all there. But there are a whole bunch of Africa travel adventures, future adventures to come. But these podcasts are meant as a way to fill in between the big videos and the, the big information. Because you're going to want to see all the stuff about the Mole National Park and all that. You can always check out the channel when you have a chance. But this podcast uh, is just a podcast. And I know I'm doing it on location and uh, I'm kind of sitting here sweating because it's probably 95, 98 degrees, something like that. Uh, 35, 36, 37 for Celsius fans. Uh, and but I just had to do it while I was here because this is just such a special place. This is actually my third time to Mole National Park. So I thought today would be a really good day to cover the first topic, but give me just a moment. I'm gonna go sit down in a little bit shadier place. Okay, that's better. <laughs> a, little, a little cooler right here. Uh, so today's topic, let's, let's make this an obvious, what I think is an obvious first topic, is getting out of your comfort zone. I know, I said I've been here three times before, or two times before, this is my third, but that doesn't mean uh, it's easy. It's the not the same trip every time. It never is. Yesterday, I went on the walking safari, and I even went, I did know the challenge of the walking safari, 
but I feel like I'm a little extra out of shape right now. Um, we just got off of hot season here. Uh, I currently have an apartment in Tamale, Ghana, and I had stopped where I was walking regularly before. I had stopped uh, because going out in the afternoon when it was 100 degrees was just a little too much. So I hadn't been walking as much as usual. And uh, for those of you who can't see, so you know, I'm 54 years old, I'm definitely overweight, and right now, as I say, I'm a little bit more out of shape than usual. So I'm old, fat, and out of shape. So my first thing is, if I can do this, you can do this. If you've ever dreamed of going somewhere adventurous, whether it's Africa or Costa Rica or anywhere, and you think, oh, I can't do that, I'm not in good enough shape, forget it just go. You'll figure it out. You'll find a way. And so I did this safari walk yesterday. As I say, I wasn't quite feeling it, but I went anyways. And it was great. It, even the parts that were really hard. When it gets hard, I asked for help and people were happy to help. There was one slopey part that was really rocky and I'm not really good with rocks. Uh, and they were happy to help me. In fact, I had an extra good group because the guy behind me is like, oh, I'll take your camera. And the guy in front of me you know, took my hand and just made sure I stayed steady. That's all I needed was just a little bit of help. And then on the way out, uh, that spot I was showing you just a minute ago, for those of you who are watching on video, there's a, not quite a cliff, uh, but there's a steep slope uh, to come back up and you end at the watering hole. The walk is like two hours long, you end at the watering hole and then you have to come up that cliff. Um, and that was a challenge. And I told the guide right off the bat, I'm going to need help with that. And it took me like 15 minutes to climb what everyone else did in five or six. Uh, but I took it slow. I did it at my pace. My legs were tired. Uh, they were absolutely sore yesterday, but I was glad I did it. I overcame it. And now I've really hit my stride and I've got my energy and I feel great. Just a quick note, I posted the video of the entire safari walk on my second YouTube channel, which is called TGT on the Moon. I will put a link in the description. Now back to our regularly scheduled podcast. And as I say, we got to see so many cool animals. Uh, we got to see several kinds of antelope and we got to see the elephants down at the watering hole. That's the coolest thing is we saw the elephants at the watering hole and you're just not far from them. I mean, easily stones throw. Uh, you could literally throw a stone and, and reach them. Not that I would ever do that, but just to give you an idea of distance. And just doing it, uh, even when I was cursing my sore muscles, <laughs> I was glad I did it. And we also went on a safari drive yesterday in the late afternoon. I'm going to go on another one this afternoon. It's from 3.30 on. And at first it didn't seem like we were going to see much in the way of animals. We were hardly seeing anything, a couple antelope here and there, and that was it. And then it started to cool down a little and they started to come out. And there were, uh, we saw green monkeys. We saw and like a whole, whole troops of them. And you see the little baby ones running along. And we saw baboons and we saw, we saw the bushback and the cob, which are the most common antelope around. But we also saw waterbuck, uh, which is a rare sighting. And uh, we didn't catch any elephants in the afternoon. They're a little less likely. They're more likely to be seen in the mornings. But um, it, was, it was really fantastic. And this is Mole. And I know I'm supposed to be covering the topic of getting outside your comfort zone. And I'm sorry, I got distracted there. But uh, getting outside your comfort zone is, I want to say just do it. But I know it's not always that easy. And I'll tell you, even after all this time of travel, I still get anxious, like the night before a trip. Um, the night before we came out here, even though I had a friend driving us up and I have a friend staying with me on this one, uh, I was a little bit nervous and no real reason. I just felt a little anxious. So even if you feel that way, just know that usually once you get started, you'll overcome it. That's, that's number one. Don't let fear stop you. Don't let a little anxiety stop you. Um, know that you can do it. You are far more capable than you realize. Most likely you are far more capable than you realize. And I understand the worry. I understand the concern. And especially if you're pushing yourself. But uh, as I say, it's kind of a just do it. But also feel free before you dive into a huge trip, push your comfort zone while you're still at home. Uh, go try foods that you're not used to. That's a really good one for travel. 
is go to the kind of restaurants you don't normally eat at and try different things. Um, try any activity that is uncommon for you. Whatever doesn't suit your normal type, go ahead and do it. You know, if you have never been to an opera, try an opera. I mean, Tim and I did that. Tim was my husband. Um, I admit, we were fairly bored. Uh, but we tried it, you know. At least we tried it. And uh, But anything, anything that is different from what you normally do, the more often you do something new, the easier new stuff gets to do. And you get into that zone of, oh, this is fine, a whole lot quicker and a whole lot easier. And also when you travel, um, for I will tell you this, travel is not nearly as difficult as it gets made out to be. It's not. The hardest part is usually the plane ride and the getting to and from places. Uh, it's not nearly as hard as, as people think it is. Once you're here, you'll find that the challenges you have are not really any greater than the challenges you're used to at home. They're just different. That's all it is, is they're different challenges, but they're not really any harder. And if you can handle your challenges at home, you can handle your challenges out on the road. I would really like to demystify that people who travel a lot are some, there's no magic to it. It's just a different set of challenges. You know, it's just a different way of being. It's a different set of challenges. And if you're just traveling on vacation, that's perfectly fine. One piece of advice would be don't expect it to be like home, except already that it's not going to be. Comfort levels are going to be different. Don't get upset when things don't match home. I mean, my goal in traveling has always been to go somewhere as different from home as possible. And so if I'm doing that, then why would I want it to be the same? When you travel, you should be ready to uh, learn and grow. And as I say, don't let things upset you just because they're not like home. And they might not be as comfortable as home, but yeah, that's what home is for, right? For as much as I say, go ahead and try some things and, and push your boundaries a little bit while you're at home, don't put off that big trip because you think you have to take a little adventure and a little adventure and a little adventure before you get to your big adventure. Take your big adventure and take it now. You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. And if you don't go, you might miss out. You know, like I've always wanted to go to Mali and it's a no-go zone right now. Take your opportunity. Make your opportunity happen. But don't let fear stop you from trying things. Don't let fear stop you from going places that you want to go. Just go. You'll figure it out. You are capable. You will figure it out. And you know what? If you're out on the road and things start to go wrong, ask for help. You know, I ask for help on the hike. When you need help, ask for help. Getting out of your comfort zone is not really that hard. You just have a little have to have a little different mindset about it. And don't let fear and anxiety stop you from doing things, stop you from going places. Because there is too much to do and too much to see. And you really just don't want to miss out on that. Life is meant to be lived. Go live it. So what has been your biggest challenge in travel that where you broke out of your comfort zone and did something really different from what you thought you would? Leave a comment and uh, tell us your story. Let us know what you've, been, uh, what you've been up to or something that you hope to do. If you haven't been there yet, something that you hope to do. And if you think you're going to enjoy Tales of Africa and a little travel advice and a few stories uh, from the road as often as I can, but possibly from my front porch as well, uh, give a subscribe, you know, uh, I'm going to try and do this weekly and we're going to just share tales and uh, hopefully get a conversation going because I'd love to hear about your travels too. Okay. Thanks for coming. I'll see you next time. Talk to you next time. <laughs> Bye.